A lot of people dislike their power company and really have no idea how it's even possible for them to leave it. And in some places, it's not even legal to. This is how we left our power company behind and never looked back. We started with a bunch of 6 volt batteries and wired up a 12 volt pack from them. We convert the 12 volt to 110 with a simple Amazon inverter and use it to distribute the power to the cabin using these little clips that connect onto Romex. Our first way of gaining power is through solar. We have a cheap charge connector and some cheap panels. Nothing about this system is very fancy and very hard to do. You can go pick up this system for about $600. However, it is illegal in most places to have a non-grid tie system. And when your skies look like this most days, solar isn't going to save you. So my dad's been working on this wind turbine. It's a vertical access wind turbine made out of 55 gallon barrels, some used parts from the junkyard, and a go-kart we had. He started by taking a washing machine apart to fund his motor. Obviously he was a bit careless with the outside of it, but what he needed was inside of here. This motor is a lot like any other motor you would have seen, it's just a bit different. It does have a little gear in here and that will line up with the splines on the windmill, and this big copper cable converts power at 110. It's quite hefty, there's a lot of copper there. So what he needs to do now is get it from converting over to 110 to 12 volt and we can use it to charge directly into our battery banks. All fitted together it makes one nice unit and my father thinks they may be stackable. And by that he means that he thinks he can get two motors on one wind turbine and double the amount of power it's creating. These should be a relatively low resistance motor but as you can see we have plenty of rotation there. Obviously we can come up with something gasifying or wood steam but we haven't gotten there yet and frankly it burns a lot of wood. So we still rely on gasoline and gasoline feeds our 12 volt generator. Our 12 volt generator as most of you know is a 12 volt GM Trailblazer alternator hooked up to a knockoff Honda motor with some scrapyard parts, a couple pulleys, and a couple belts. If you're interested in building your own, we've actually done a video on that before and I'll be posting that down in the comments. But to turn on the power, you're going to connect these two wires and that's going to live charge the house. This wire is constantly live, so you make sure not to hit it on any metal because it does spark over. Now, I bet you're wondering to yourself, why would somebody go through all the problems when clearly they can just hook up to the power pole that's on the corner of their property? Well, the first big reason is, is they want an obscene amount of money to hook up to the power grid. And number two, obviously being the power bill, our fuel comes out to a little bit cheaper than what our power bill would. And so that's a big reason. And number three is the fact that it's not the most reliable grid tie power ever. So even if we did hook up to it, we'd likely still end up needing a generator on windy and stormy days, especially in the winter. So, if you made it this far in the video, clearly you're a fan of the channel and this update's meant for you. So my goal with the last five videos have been to fill you in on backstory and help bring you guys up to where we're at. And so that I don't feel like there's missing backstory when I do videos on projects and do updates on the channel. Uh, the future longs are mostly going to be either weekly updates during the spring, summer, and parts of fall. During winter, there's not really that much to update you guys on other than I'm still alive. So we'll see how winter goes as far as longs. And the other things that you'll see on longs are going to be full-length projects from start to finish. As well as anything else that comes along that feels like it needs to be a long instead of a short other than that, the shorts are going to be what I do some of the times, and then sometimes will be longs. We'll kind of see the channel still developing. We're just really getting started here, so I appreciate you guys for sticking along. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already, and have a very good day.